Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at 20 plus new features and changes for iOS 13 beta 2. Apple released the software a little earlier today. I've been doing some digging around the software and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys as I mentioned 20 plus new changes and features that Apple brought to iOS 13 beta 2 in comparison to beta 1 here on the left. So beta 1 on the left, beta 2 on the right. Let's begin. So first let's go ahead and talk about the camera in iOS 13 beta 2. Apple added a brand new feature to the portrait mode option. If we tap into portrait mode and we go all the way to the end we have a new option here high key light mode option this one allows you to take really cool pictures I was testing it out on my device before filming the video just to share the images with you guys as you see here the iPhone in my hand are clearly in focus and the background has this white blur background which looks really really cool and this works with both the rear and front facing cameras as you see here there's a picture of me and there's a picture of my hand with the iPhone and it works really really good in this particular beta now you can adjust the actual intensity of this blur effect here by tapping into the focus section right there and you can see there you can increase or decrease the amount of blur that you would like to add it to the photo and there we go we can click done and edit this picture just like that so this new option in the camera's application under portrait mode again this is going to be the brand new high key light moto option available in iOS 13 beta 2. Now if we go to the share options menu in iOS 13 beta 2 versus beta 1 we can automatically quickly see some of the changes here at the bottom of the menu we see the more options has been changed to manage right here so if we tap into the manage options we see that in the top of the menu there's also some changes here as well we have the done and edit button in beta 1 in beta 2 we do not have an edit button in beta 2 all you have to do is grab these three lines next to the option and just move it to the position that you would like to move that sharing option too so no longer an edit button there and the done button is on the right when in beta 1 is on the left so minor changes here to the sharing options in beta 2 now if we go to the settings option here in beta 1 versus beta 2 and we go to the iCloud settings options we see that under the iCloud settings we no longer have the iCloud icon in beta 2 I'm not sure if that's going to be changed back because it's just not unified here uh, but the iCloud option icon is not present there and under the family sharing options we now have subscription options as well so a new subscription button inside of the iCloud settings in the settings application now in settings under the accessibility options we now have a new option available here as well in beta 2 right here under the hearing devices we have the RTT and the TTY options available for your phone calls right now available in the new beta under accessibility something not available in beta 1. another great feature in ios 13 beta 2 under emergency sos we have the emergency sos we can invoke that by pressing and holding on the side button with the volume button together and if we press long enough we can you know contact emergency services by doing so well in the new beta we now have the ability to turn off the countdown sound now this makes a very loud sound after three seconds before contacting emergency services with beta one you can now be discreet you don't have to let everybody know that you're contacting emergency services with that very loud sound so if i press and hold on the side and volume you see there the five second countdown after it reaches three that very loud sound can now be turned off in the latest beta by the way emergency sos was not working in beta one it is now working in beta two with the new feature and option that allows you to be a little more discreet when contacting emergency sos uh, services right here by turning off the sound so very cool option in settings if we go to the contacts extension we now have the import sim contacts so if you have all your contacts on your sim you can now import them by going to settings contacts and importing them directly from there now this option was hitting previously under the emails option i'm not quite sure why but now it is where it should be on previous beta here as you see it is not present under the contacts extension but it is now in beta 2. there's actually a feature in ios 13 that apple removed which i'm kind of bummed about if we go to the calendars options here we no longer have the ability to choose the language the preferred language for those particular extensions so calendar mail a lot of extensions removed at that option here let's take a look again here at calendar you see right there the language you can select no longer available there and again this is throughout a lot of extensions and settings i'm just a little bummed out to see that go 
In settings, if we go to the Safari extension in settings, we now have a new option right here under general show link previews. So link previews can now be turned on or off inside of the Safari extension in settings. In the Maps application, I just got the new splash screen here that shows everything uh, that's new or most things that are new within the Maps application in iOS 13. I just received that new splash screen here. If we go to the App Store and we go to the App Store section here, we see that we now have all the recent updates available at the bottom of the page. If we go to previous versions of iOS 13 here, we see that this menu is completely different. At the bottom, we no longer have or do we don't have the actual app updates well in beta 2 we do have those updates available right there inside of the app store settings now a new splash screen for welcome to find my it's now available in ios 13 beta 2 i did not see this splash screen in the first beta but it is available here in the second beta and i'm happy to report for those of you that were missing this really cool option where you 3d touch on an icon and you get add widget option in the home screen this was not something that apple had present in previous beta for whatever reason it was removed there see the reminders you see how we can add this to the widgets well it's now uh, possible in beta 2 where it wasn't possible in beta 1 so i'm happy that apple definitely brought that back so really cool something that is not particularly new to ios 13 beta 2 but i did want to share with you guys is under the app store settings apple has risen the limit from 150 megabytes over cell connection to download apps to 200 so it was 150 before and since ios 13 that was risen to 200 right there uh, a new splash screen here for the new series shortcuts that it's available in the latest beta as well and new icons next to the series shortcut icons here or extensions if we see here we no longer have these little generic icons, but we actually have the health icon, the music icon next to the shortcut that it pertains to. So th those are some of the changes that I've come across so far with iOS 13 beta 2. I'm sure there's a ton more. I'll be giving you guys a follow-up video on some more additional new features and changes in the upcoming days. Of course, I'll be testing the battery and the performance. You guys can already expect that video in the next three days or so so be sure to stay tuned here to the channel thank you for watching today's video on ios 13 new features and changes i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace